Guys, in my opinion, if you want to develop a funky lead style, you must be listening to horn players. Today we're going to be studying the techniques and phrasing of Fred Wesley, funkiest trombone player of all time. I think that's pretty much undisputed. Today we're going to be breaking down four of his amazing licks and I'll also kind of point out what techniques I think you should take away from these phrases and develop in your own plan. First up is his use of just alternating between two notes. Let's dig in. All the licks in today's lesson are going to be in the key of D and uh, this first one is starting right up here with a bend at the 12th fret, bending that up full from the and of beat 4. One, two, three, four. Hold that out until the and of beat 2 of the next measure. Then you're going to go down here to the G and alternate that with the F. Back down to the root, ending on the flat uh, third there. And then uh, the next part is kind of really where this alternating two note pattern is coming in. It's just a really simple minor pentatonic phrase here, but it's just that repeating pattern of those two notes which really makes it Fred Wesley. Okay, so here it is from the beginning. Two, three, four. The slides at the end there give it a nice little touch. Sliding up to the G and then sliding out of the F again. In this next lick, you'll hear Fred Wesley's use of unison slides. Now this is something very common with trombone players, but also incorporated with guitar players such as George Benson and Grant Green especially. Let's check this one out. Again, this one is mostly just minor pentatonic, but he's also adding in the flat five, the blue note there. And there's that unison slide sliding up there from the C note to the D at the 12th fret, and then fretting the D note at the 7th fret on the G string. So you get that sound. So there's the first phrase. Second phrase. So again, more of that unison slide technique. Going to the flat third at the end kind of brings back the blues. Slide in out of the root at the end. So here's the entire lick. One, two, three, four. One. Again. One. If you're enjoying the lesson, please like, share, and subscribe, and come on by tastyguitar.com and check out membership. Members can jam with the backing track, get interactive sound slice tab with looping, slow-mo. We also have live workshops. A lot of great perks, guys. Make sure you come by and check it out. This next lick is a great example of Fred Wesley's use of 32nd notes in his phrasing and also the blue note, the flat five. Let's check this one out. All 
All right, this next lick is probably the trickiest one of the bunch here, so make sure you start this one very slow. Now, this is coming right after beat four on the second 16th note there at the 12th fret on the G string. So that's one, two, three, four. What are you gonna do there? Hit that G note, go up to the A, pull it off to the G, slide down to the F at the 10th fret. Then we're into the next measure, starting on that G note again. And then you're gonna do the 32nd notes, which is a quick pull off from the 10th to the 7th fret, sliding down to the 5th fret. So it's like this. Back to the D note. So, so far we have this. And then he finishes it off using that blue scale again, starting on that flat five. Ending down on the root there. In this last lick, he uses kind of almost everything we talked about, the unison slides, alternating between two notes and the blues scale. Let's check this out. The last lick here, again, is just a D blue scale and kind of uses everything in here. A lot of slides, alternating between two notes, the blue note, everything. And this is starting on the root, right on the second 16th note of the B. Going up to the flat third, back to the root. Sliding into the fifth fret, the fifth of the chord. To the G. Again, just minor pentatonic in here. Sliding out of that F note at the end. This part is sliding up to the root and alternating with the C. And then finishing off just in the D blues scale again. Hitting the root. Sliding down into the fourth from the flat five on the root down in there at the fifth fret on the A string. So here it is all together. One. Again, one. Repeat it. 